All right, this is Smisky Arts, and what I'm going to be doing today is a freaking little fix-it job. Okay? A little artsy, but not so much. Just a fix-it job. Check this thing out. I've been wanting this thing for like a long time, but it's like way too expensive. It's like 30, 40 bucks to get this little guy. Just a little toy. I just thought it looked like creepy cool. It's from Five Nights at Freddy's uh, Mystery Minis Mangle. Okay? Um, those of you that do know are probably thinking, he's missing something. And yeah, he is. He's missing his little arm. See that? See the little guy? Yeah. It's supposed to go like over here. Okay? Anyways, this guy online was selling it for like 19 bucks. And I'm like, you know what? I want the figure and I can make a video on how I fixed it. It's going to be pretty tricky, but I think I figured it out. Okay? Um, and no, I'm not just going to slap on some glue, okay? You, you have to do a little bit more than that. If you've seen my past videos when I do some statue repair work and stuff like that, there's some things you can do. So anyways, and it's like, it's only like a, it's a tiny little piece of plastic, but um, I figured to make an interesting video, um, or what have you. So anyways, that's what I'm going to be doing, right? So let me go stop this intro and spin the camera around and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing, All right? Cool. All right, the first thing you do is you kind of first figure out how it's supposed to lay in there. Not a big deal. I have pictures of how it's supposed to look, so we'll just, you know, but I know it's supposed to go right here. Okay, not a big deal. Now the trick is, I can't simply just like glue it into place because it'll just, it'll just re-snap, you know, if I, if I hit it accidentally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a tiny, tiny little peg that goes in here. And then uh, with a, like a piece of metal or something, and then we're going to attach it like that and then glue it into place. But I need to make a little hole in here. Now I, I grab this little like utensil that I usually use for my like sculpting or something. It's just like a dental equipment thing. And I literally, since it's just plastic I'm, or vinyl, I just kind of poke right into it. And I kind of let's twist it around. Okay. Um, uh, then we just pull it back out. And eventually... I'll get a tiny little hole in there. Okay? Now, I do have a drill bit I could probably use um, to make that, that hole a little bit bigger. Now, of course, on the body, it's a little more tricky. So, like I said, I'm just going to start, you know, poking this in here, twisting it, being very careful not to, um, not to like, break the rest of the toy. But anyways, I'll wiggle it around a little bit like this, uh, make sure that hole is um, wide enough to fit a little piece of metal, okay? All right, so I'm gonna work on this for a little bit, try and get this a little bit, you know, wider and all that, and then we'll come back. All right, cool. Okay, let me show you the tiny little hole I made in this guy. All right, cool, right there. Um, so now, basically, I took some of this little, I think it's jewelry wire, and I cut a tiny little piece, and I put it inside the hole of the other one right here and let me see if I now you can see it okay and so basically you're basically just fitting it together like a like a puzzle or just like a whatever so I just slip that in there Ugh. twist it a little bit okay now it's now it's on there okay obviously I can't do that this is where the um, the glue comes into place. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue um, the metal piece into this end and then I'll let that dry for a little while, you know, a couple minutes or an hour or so, I don't know. And then I'll just reattach it onto this guy. Uh, what I'm probably going to use is probably some super glue because that'll probably be good enough. Um, but basically the point of doing the um, this little peg piece, it gives you more, uh, more of an anchor system than um, than just glue. Like I said, if I just did it with glue, it would just, yeah, I would just bump it and it, it would end up eventually snapping. So this way, I can still bump it a little bit and it'll, and it'll be, it'll still be rigid and hard and stiff and, and it'll stay intact. Okay? Cool. Oh, if you're probably wondering, oh my god, this guy has way too much time on his hands. Um, right now, yeah, I do. Uh, since I um, am out of work right now because of my elbow, um, I can do these little goofy projects. All right, cool. All right, I might as well show you this part. I'm gonna use super glue gel. 
as opposed to regular super glue because super glue in itself, if you've ever worked with it, it's great, but it's so liquidy, it would end up getting like all over this piece, ruining the paint job. So I need this kind of like um, stuff that's more, uh, like I said, more controlled. So I just dab a little bit of, of, of a bit on there and then I'll take my little, whoops, take my little piece here and I'll just slide it in there. I believe it'll go in there if I hit the hole right, which I'm having some tricky time with it right now. Whoops, well, let's, uh, that should go in there. Let me, ow, ow, ow. Oh, that hurt. I got it in my nail. Oh, I think I just, I think I just cut myself. Jeez Louise. That might be the wrong end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip this, flip this around. It might be the wrong end. So let's put this other end in. Whoops. Take that off of there. Whoops. Okay. This is turning into a complete ridiculous joke. I got super glue on my finger. I'm gonna spin that around. Okay, let's get him get him in there. Oh, get in there. What the hell? All right, that was a complete colossal nightmare <laughs> just to get that dumb piece in there. I literally ended up, since I freaking poked myself, I'm going to take that piece here and I I put it up against the table here and I I pushed it down um, whoops, to get it to where it would go in all the way. Anyways, all right, cool. Now he's in there. Um, a little bit, not, I luckily I um, I didn't get any glue on the piece itself. Totally got lucky there. Anyways, all right, we're gonna let this dry for a little bit, and then we're gonna attach him to this guy. All right, cool. Okay, now that I patched myself back up, I'm gonna take some of this, and we're gonna apply it basically to the um, rod here or the pin, and I'm gonna put a little bit on the actual plastic that way it has something else to whatever okay all right I think I got enough on there all right so we'll just put that in the hole pretty much Ugh. and then we'll just kind of make sure we have the right angle of how we want him to look okay hold him in place there for a little bit Okay, and then we'll be good to go, all right? Okay, and since that pin fits pretty tight on there, just happened to get lucky on that one, um, it holds itself in place pretty good, so I can literally not have to worry about um, um, gravity pulling this head down if I were to just you know set it here to dry. Um, so that's that, all right? Cool, and um, let me show you... Let me show you what I saw on um, eBay just a second ago when I was um, researching where I'm supposed to position the head here or the arm here. Okay, watch this. I'm going to stop the camera and we're going to check it out. All right, check that out, man. A broke, another broken one. Oh my God, that one's probably easier to fix too. He's got that for like $21 and um, free shipping. That is freaking sweet. I think I can fix that one too. <laughs> anyway, I just saw that today. Um, anyway, I'm going to go see if this is the same guy that sold me this one, but it doesn't really matter. But anyways, I thought that was hilarious. Okay, cool. Um, I'll check back and we'll um, look at the figure in a minute. All right, cool. Okay, here we go. Awesome. Check that crap out. Um, and then you can spin him around. Looks pretty good. Um, the cool part, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but um, when you work with the glue, you want to make sure you don't get any of it on your hands while you're, while you're working it because if you touch the, the uh, toy itself with um, the glue on your finger, it will completely mess up your paint job. <laughs> um, so anyways, if you look up close enough, it looks like it, it, it fixed on pretty good. Um, yeah, that's the tricky part. That's why, like I said, that's why I use the um, gel super glue because the um, regular super glue... Um, it's just it it'll, it'll just get all over the place. All right, cool. Man, he's gonna stick on there pretty good. And I got the one mangle I wanted to get for like uh, almost half the price. Like I said, I might go I might go ahead and buy that other one.
Because <laughs> that one's probably an easier fix, I think. Although, I don't know. Yeah, well, it'll probably be easier fix. Anyways, um, with that, um, thanks for checking this video out. I know it's kind of corny, um, but um, I always appreciate it. All right, cool.